Here is one of our sofas that Jack knives out into a bed. You grab in the middle here or grab them down below. And I'll back up so you can see this. You pull it the bottom out forward and then you put it down flat. Most of our tables, you just loosen up the lid or the top of the table. You take that off. You take the bottom part and you put it down below. And as you can see on here, there's a little lip that goes around. And then this particular RV, this pulls out for the lip. The second is extra thing provides another lip. And then the tabletop lays right on that. And then the extra cushions on the back are what full, are what makes the bed full. So that's that way. In most RVs, not all of them are the same setup as this, but it's typical that that's what you would need to do for any of the RVs. As far as the, the bunk beds, you would pull that part forward, if you can see that. Pull it forward, and then there's netting on there, and you'll see some little hooks up here, like seat belts. That's for if you have a kid that falls out of bed, and you can put that up there so they don't fall out of bed. Then there is a ladder that attaches to it. And there are these little metal clips here that the ladder attaches into. It comes right down in the middle. And that's how you get up on the bed. Please do not stand on the arms of the sofas or anything else to get up there because they will break. There is also an HRV. There is a privacy curtain. And on each bed up here, each bunk bed, there are little pieces of Velcro. You see all these little circular Velcro? That privacy curtain has Velcro on it so that at night you can pull the privacy curtain across the front and nobody can see in.